Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Buckeye Politics. It's me, your favorite Ohio. Today, we're going to be looking at the 2022 Wyoming um, House of Representatives election, the primary is taking place this Tuesday. And, uh, you know, Wyoming is pretty much a safe Republican state. It's not going to be competitive at all in the general. But the big thing we're going to be looking at is the primary. Incumbent Republican Liz Cheney, who is uh, not very well liked by many people in the Republican Party, and for not and for good reason. Um, not only just the anti-Trump stuff, but the stuff that her father did. She is... She's... She's just not a good. She's uh, she's a, she's an awful person, and her family is horrible. For those of you who do not know, Liz Cheney is the daughter of Dick Cheney, who is the former vice president of the United States. And uh, to put it, to put it nicely, Dick Cheney is a war criminal who should be sent to the Hague and put on trial for war crimes. He is the most. He is the most disgusting. He's one of the most disgusting people I've ever met. He oversaw the United States, pretty much just obliterating the Middle East, bombing children and civilians, and he lied about mass weapons in Iraq just so him and Bush could gain more power and make some money for the military-industrial complex. Um, he was basically the key player in the Bush administration in terms of in the Middle East. Cheney oversaw the um, attacks of, in Iraq and Afghanistan. And uh, granted, after 9-11, some of that, especially the war in Iraq, was warranted. We didn't need to go in there and defeat the Taliban. But all the nation building, the reason we were there for 20 plus years, the reason that thousands of young American men died in the sands for literally zero reason is because of Dick Cheney and Liz Cheney and their disgusting love of power and money. And that's just that's just the facts. I'm sorry. So Liz Cheney, you know, even further besides the anti-Trump stuff, I, w I would want her to lose her prime primary anyway, just because of what she stands for and who her family is. So we come in here and look at the Republican primary. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. Liz Cheney, she has been in there for about 10 years or so, and she's facing a challenge from Harriet Hagerman, who is a former RNC member, um, a lawyer, and she actually ran for governor of Wyoming in 2018. And she's been endorsed by Donald Trump mostly because of Liz Cheney being a big supporter of the January 6th commission. And, you know, it's funny because Liz Cheney, she was on, like, MSNBC, and she's like, this attack on our democracy and our values, uh, when she talked about January 6th, and that was the most disgusting day in American history. And she, like, wants to basically paint herself as this, like, in, in, in a positive light because she's standing up for our values, when in reality she, her and her family have overseen the deaths of thousands of American service members for no reason and thousands of Middle Eastern civilians. So, you know, a very, <laughs> very, <laughs> very good person, you know. You know, it's it's disgusting. But anywho, if we actually look at the, um, kind of put that stuff aside and actually look at the, um, the, I get the election itself and put aside the nuances of it all, um, we look at at least, uh, uh, not at least Devanik, at least Devanik has supported I think Liz Cheney. But let's look at the endorsement. So Liz Cheney is endorsed by George Bush and Dick Cheney, obviously. Um, Adam Kinzinger, Paul Ryan, Dan Crenshaw, Charlie Baker. You cannot make this up. This is all you have to John Boner. Oh, this is all you need to know about the, the people who support Cheney. Yeah, Liz Cheney is pretty much supported by the entire Republican establishment and the more moderate branch of the party, while Harry Hagerman is supported by literally everyone based and pretty much everyone. Look at this. Literally every Look at all these people who supported Harry Hagerman. She's endorsed by Trump. Um, Ryan Zinke, Marsha Blackburn, Ted Cruz, Josh Hawley, Rand Paul, and basically anyone you can think of who is any you know <laughs> who has any sort of standing in the GOP and who is actually relatively based supports um, Harriet Hagerman, and for good reason. Like we, like all the reasons you mentioned before, along with January 6th and Liz Cheney basically going full on in attacking Trump for everything he's done. So yeah, Liz Cheney is in a pretty bad spot. She's up against Harriet ha Hageman, who is probably going to win this election pretty handily. Let's come down here and look at the polling. Yeah, this race isn't even going to be close. Hageman is leading by like 25 points. A most recent poll came out at the University of Wyoming, just released about a week ago, has Harriet Hageman at 57% to Liz Cheney's 28%. This is not, this race is not even going to be close. Um, uh, more likely than not, I mean, obviously Liz Cheney could pull some sort of, some sort of crazy maneuver and make this race close, but I mean, if you look at polling, look at who she's su supported by, look at fundraising too. Liz Cheney has actually received basically a lot of money from states like California, um, New York, Illinois, but very few money is actually from the state of Wyoming. The people of Wyoming seem to very, be donating pretty much exclusively to Harriet Hageman and the Republicans, especially in Wyoming, have pretty much been voting, donating exclusively to Harriet Hageman. And there's been rumors that a lot of Democrats may may switch part, may switch like the registration to support Liz Cheney. But really, I don't see how he, Wyoming has, does not have that many Democrats, and I doubt that many are going to switch. That she's going to make up a freaking 20 point loss. Like she's probably so. I really don't see a path to victory for Liz Cheney at this point. I think Harriet Hageman is going to beat win him here by about 15 to 20 points. I think she may underperform the polls a tad because of Democrats flipping over. But I think Harriet Hageman still going to win this race very handily. So with that, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you live in Wyoming, go out there and vote for Harriet Hageman, and I will see you in the next video.